From Warner Bros. and their former bro. Yeah, it's uh, sort of not how you treat filmmakers and stars. Comes a film about technology that reverses the flow of time that Nolan wishes was real so he could have released the movie four months earlier. Tenet. Experience what happens when a filmmaker goes so far up his own butt that everything gets inverted. It's inverted. Two antagonists, one inverted. A machine, they inverted. She shot with an inverted round. You are inverted, the world is not. Blue team are uh, inverted. Thought you were inverted. Can you stabilize the inverse radiation by inverting the patient? That would take twice the number of memento plot dogs to properly explain. That's basically the end of the movie. But basically, some people and objects are moving backwards in time, the people moving forwards in time can interact with them, and everyone's fighting to control a big math staff that blasts the past. Did you still get lost? Don't worry, so did the cast. Sometimes the logic needed to catch up to what I believe he would feel in the moment, even if I can't all the way explain what it was. You know, it, it's not even a question of getting everything or even anything. I think my last question was saying, like, am I alive or dead? <laughs> Critics have taken Nolan to task for his overbaked plots, underdeveloped characters, and all white heroes. Well, he's addressed one of those things. Denzel Washington's son stars as the protagonist, a mysterious, secret, um, protagonist who, uh, look, he's a protagonist, okay? That's all you're gonna get. I'm the protagonist. He's joined by Neil, a fellow time cop who's the bill to protagonist's head. Let me get out to some stuff. You're gonna love it. Dudes, you guys are gonna go back in time. Yeah! You are going to have the most excellent adventure. Hey, you never did tell me who recruited you, Neil. You did. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! No way. Max, who continues the Grand Nolan tradition of largely mute children you only see the hair of. Cat, a woman so tall she could drive a car from the back seat. Michael Caine as himself? Goodbye, Sir Michael. Sure, why not? And Sator, a vodka-swilling arms dealer who's an Adidas tracksuit away from checking off every evil Russian stereotype. You lecture me about the radiation. Andre Sator, digging plutonium from the rubble of my city as a teenager. Well, he's not the most over-the-top Russian I've seen, so I guess he earned his paycheck. Pay that man his money. Push through this extremely dense and intricate way of telling an unsatisfying hollow spy story that feels like the movie adaptation of a crossword puzzle, because it kinda is. And when you strip away the mind-bending sci-fi concept and parse through the hard-to-hear dialogue. What do you know about opera? Terminal from their private planes. And manage to stay awake through all of the meetings. It's just a backdrop for rich people doing time crimes to each other, like a Rube Goldberg machine that ends with you getting kicked in the nuts. Is your head hurt yet? Yes. Thrill as Nolan rediscovers the backwards action thingy from that Spike Jones video and the backwards talking thing from that Missy Elliott song as he and the cast pull off the incredible feat of filming huge sequences in reverse that in theory sound like they reinvent the genre but just looks like they chose the rehearsal takes of them practicing the choreography. <laughs> in what's less of a mind and more of just a frustrating chore to make sense of, like someone inverted your controls on GTA. So suit up once again, just not in that off-the-rack poor person kind of way. Brooks Brothers won't cut it. For what may not be Nolan at his best, but it definitely is Nolan at his most, that exaggerates everything you either love or hate about his films. And if you're a Nolan worshiper who wants to rewatch something three times before it makes sense, more power to you. I just hope you know you also have to pretend to love Tokyo Drift too. What do you like about Fast and Furious? I'm sort of original recipe. I mean, the Fast and Furious, <laughs> Rob Cohen original. Um, but I, I've got a very soft spot for Tokyo Drift, actually. Of course he loves Tokyo Drift. It's the one that completely messed up the timeline. Starring. Let's just put the protagonist here for now, then come up with something better later. Tinker Time Lord Soldier Spy. What if Vladimir Putin looked like Harvey Weinstein? Eliza Picky Picky Wow Wow Bat. Burly Eyes. Moody Dench. And how no one writes a character. No small talk. Nothing that might reveal who we are or what we do. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Whoa. You know, if I were inverted, I'd just poop in front of my enemy so they have to watch it materialize on the floor, then shoots up into my butt cheeks. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm an industrial welder. 
Tenet movie was inspired by Master Yoda dialogues. That's my bike, punk. Blue tune balloons, blue too few goons to the moon.